Oh, there's those prompts for the PlayStation. Yeah. Whoop. Ooh. Okay, cool. Kind of control how deep you go. That's kind of fun. Yeah, see, like, right, just like I was talking about the water temple earlier, like, now this is, like, really exciting. There's something primal about the, like, you can be underwater as much as you like. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of going, like, yeah! It's fun to me, so... So, like, I'm, I'm, I'm really thrilled that we get this power-up. But, yeah, this is where I wanted to go first, before we explore all the stuff in the central cistern, is... Have a quick look over here. I really dig that the guy who, like, lore-wise is, like, all about, like, you know, fishing and, you know, fights with a spear. Like, he actually is, like, really strong against fish. Is fun detail. Well, I wonder if this is progress after all, because there's, a, there's an ominous cave over there, you know? can't tell. This is a very... Very, very, very... Oh, jeez. Over here, too? Wow. We must be, like, on out the outside. Whoa! Ooh, we learned a new move. Tiger Flash. Hey, well, now we got that new move. What was this frog guarding the freaking... Single connected to thrush, thrush thrushed forward. Who's this giant frog guarding this uh, wall here? What was up with that? Okay, and now we're. Oh, I think I should have explored that central area, but this is like this is a really non-linear level. I'm really messing with me. Oh, uh, 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 ooh, okay. Alrighty then, we're not going there because the current is too strong. Kind enough not to splatter us against the wall, though, so... Ah! It's a... it's a... Oh my god, what is this thing? Is it called a wolf in sheep's clothing? Is that D&D &D monster that looks like a tree stump? Yowzers. And a crabby. I bet you're weak against you know, hard not to crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh man, this feels like massively like progress now if like we're going this far, you know, into this area. Mm. I hate being indecisive, but like this is this is too much everybody. So let's double back after all. I'm sorry, but this is just like Oh my god. Well, aren't you a problem? Bridge keeping Giga Frog respawns, I. Eh? Yeah, no, but it's just like, I don't know. That seemed like too elaborate, that whole area. And the whole crossing the bridge like that, which was, a, again, really cool cinema cinematography there. Great camera work. Folks who have watched this channel for a while will know I'm always a sucker for that, you know? It's getting some beautiful camera work. Camera work going. Oh, where the heck are we now? Never mind, I'm like completely lost on where we're supposed to go. This is a uh, so. Although this is exciting, speaking of. Like, this is. Getting our money's worth with this uh, water dungeon for sure. Blah, 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 blah. Can we even do any good damage in the water against these things? Oh, oh kind of okay-ish. Alright, let's check this baby out. Another slate fragment, not surprised. The last one was in, in a box like this. Was it? Yes, it was. We've unlocked... That was the third lock chest we've taken care of. Alright, let's check this other branch. And then I want to check the central cistern. There's the, the chests are right there for us to be taking, and, you know... 
there's that other path there, so. Alright, we've got another one of these to bust. Okay, take care of it. Oh, ho, 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 excuse me, am I interrupting something? What? Um, ooh. Oh boy. The whole family's here. Let's, uh... Oh, that Tiger Flash takes a while to load up. You wanna use that from a range. Oh, but that was pretty, pretty satisfying, though. You cannot deny that. I'm glad we went and got Tiger Flash from the giant frog guy. Before we came here. Alright, your turn. Oh, damn. Just, well, I don't know why taking that guy out underwater felt way rougher, but... Cool. We have genocide at the chipmunks. And a couple of sapphires for our troubles. Cool. All right, now let's go the central cistern, check out the treasure to there and the uh, cave that has been unlocked there. And then we're gonna go back to that wall. Just this time, you know, this time I just very much suspect that that's uh, gonna be a uh, progress. Well, there it is. Okay, I was too high up. I was like, wait, I'm not leaving the place. Uh, oh, whoa, what am I? Oh. Uh, oh, oh, there's a, oh, there's an invisible, it, well, invisible. There's a wall there that uh, the camera isn't showing. It, it should kind of be visible, but for the camera's sake, it isn't. <laughs> okay. Man, that was messing me up a little bit. There we go. Oh, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. Well, uh, all right, all right, all right. First, the, the two chests over here. Oh, I... So I keep hitting the camera because I want to spin the camera around because I keep forgetting that this game has fixed camera angles, but that actually sets up... Healing tablet. Now is the time to attack. But that, that, that sets up these, like, two abilities, you know, attack focus or evasion focus. Um, healing tablet. I'm gonna guess it is an item here, maybe? No, it wasn't. Okay. Is it a usable item? Temporary HP recovery up. Aha! Okay. That might come in handy. It is a hole over here. But I believe we've been here, yes? Yes, this is one of the... Yeah, <laughs> one of the places we broke a hole in to raise the water level. But I'm... But I'm pretty sure... No. Sorry, this giant room just makes me think like, Oh yeah, I can turn the camera around. That, that's not right. Anyway, yeah. Oh, hold on. I'm so stupid. Forgot about the other treasure down here. There you are. Or Clanker's Cavern is also the energy I'm getting here. Uh, because of this whole, like, vertical cistern thing going on. Powering one, sure, why not? Um, you know, like, I know Banjo-Tooie has the water level with the breathable water. You can just adventure underwater for the heart's content. But honestly, Clanker's Cavern, the, the the architecture reminds me. That's why I'm like, I kind of feel like I'm in a Clanker's Cavern here. Uh, I'm gonna keep that wolf in sheep's clothing away from me for just a second. Oh no, another Giga Frogo. Another new move right away, Crag Burst. That looks awesome. Wait, no. Wait, wait. Oh. oh, there you are. Yes, Crag Burst. Pierces ground, creates the earth pillars in a wide area. By the way, Tiger Flash, only 20 costs. So, hold on, let's see that one more time. Yeah, that's like a big kind of big, big area jump thing. Very good. Man, now that he's, now that he's online with these abilities, that's something. Mm-hmm. We... 
No, we can't drop down there. Oh, I wonder what that area is then. How mysterious. Uh, can we actually look at the map? Uh, yeah, we haven't been there to the side before, so I'm not sure. Yikes! We'll let that guy style. All right, now we can go to Progress Land. Although I'm gonna hit up that uh, pillar, the the obelisk there, to recharge my uh, recharge my uh, health there. While we're here, might as well just quickly swing by. Oh yeah, yeah. Clanker's Cavern has remember the. Uh, you go underwater, you have to swim through the lock to release Clanker, and uh, it's got the, 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 the fish who provides you with air, remember? So, 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 so similar, kind of. Kind of. Mm. Just kind of a little water, water level, like, reminiscence here. I guess I just, in general, I don't mind these levels as uh, much as they... Seem to annoy a lot of people. I don't know, there's just something fun about swimming and being underwater. I, I, can, I can dig that. Because, like, I... Yeah. Banjo-Tooie I remember really badly, so that's why I can't really recall too much about. I can't even remember what the boss is, except that I remember you turn into a submarine to fight the boss. But I, for the life of me, I can't remember what the boss of uh, uh, the, the underwater place in in uh, Banjo-Tooie is. Yeah, I, I just I just like watery levels, I guess. I guess I'm crazy like that. Huh. All right, now let's continue here at last, where we were already going through the one time. Build up that meter, there we go. Ooh, this crab or scorpion or whatever this is. Oh, yeah. Putting in some work on us, but we can handle them. Yeah, we go. I felt... Oh, that guy wasn't dead yet. That's fine. Now we got him. Alright. Wait, who's poisoned? Ozma's poison. That's not good. Oh, yeah. Both of them launched in the air. That was fun. Oh, no, wait, what? Hold on. Isn't this progress as well? Wait a second. No, because there's this weird rock in the way. Well, now I'm a little confused. Where are we supposed to go? Have I missed some area somewhere in my travails? Oh, maybe this is why people don't like... Uh, water levels, because at some point you inevitably get lost. No, we can't go through there, so that's not the answer. Oh, worst part is that this Giga Frog's gonna be here again. I'm gonna have to try and get past him. Okay. I would have liked to see that frog get, like, launched in the air, but no. Not so lucky. But I checked out everything to the north as well, I'm pretty sure. The, the, here, I mean. Like, that tunnel was just a branch, and we checked the two branches, and we got everything there. So what am I missing now? Where is there a water spot that we can go underwater that I have missed? cleared this area. I think over here is the little balcony thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we cleared this. This is the balcony that we're just kind of stuck on a little bit. Yeah, that's not the answer. Is it, hmm. I don't think there's anything... Hmm. Pretty sure this hole's the only one that's been hidden here, so... Yeah, I'm getting a, kind of trying to get the view here of the area. Don't see any other, like, pathways here underwater. Me, 
I guess I could really quickly have a run through here again. So there's this nasty fella over here. We'll just ignore him. Oh, the Giga Frog. Oh no. But yeah, we can't we can't go across here, which is really annoying. Like this totally looks like you could just jump on through, but no, not not in the cards. Is there maybe a breakable wall here that I overlooked? Whoa, okay. No, I don't really see what well, this this frog is persistent, aren't you? Let's uh hide in this hole. Pardon me? And this was just this, like, empty spot, yes. Nothing going on over here. Oh, I see. This is the room with the chest that we saw when we were exploring that other area. Got it, got it. Ah, jeez. This is kind of embarrassing now. And I'm not figuring this one out. And this one we actually came through last time. Yeah, I, I swam in through the hole over there, so... And that ain't the answer. And I don't think there's anything up here. Yeah, because we busted this hole and we went through it and... It dropped us off back here. Okay, well, I feel like I've explored every spot. Uh... Actually, we could just teleport here. And then we can quickly run back down into the cistern from there. Hey, hey, clever. Okay, so I... Hmm... I don't know what to do. A quick swim around here to have a look-see. I... Mm, I'm gonna go back here. Let's go back to that area with the, with the, with the current and the river and the block. Oh, okay, well, why don't I really quickly swing back through these tunnels as well? The, I mean, these tunnels over here. Might as well really quickly take a second look at them. Oh, these piranhas. Just giving them a quick lesson to these fishies. I don't think... Mm, don't think the game's gonna... Like, I don't know, it seems the mechanic is that you need to be uh, treading the surface to be able to break down a hole, break down a wall anyway, so I don't know if that's the correct answer. Let's look for those underwater. Mm. Here's just this room with the ruin thing. Ruin fragment? That's not right. Slate fragment. What game has ruin fragments? I could swear there is a game with those, but... Ah! Poisoned by that mollusk. This was the uh, wacky trap room of the million... million chipmunks. And I don't think this one's the right place either. Yeah, this, this whole area seems like a little optional, like... Get some treasures. Oh, well, the slate fragment wasn't optional, I'm sure. Apart from that, hmm. So, unless I'm overlooking something really obvious, I think the progress is, like, like we, we are supposed to just go in that room with the big river. Well, it's not a river, it's like a canal. The, 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 the current. Uh, we, gotta, we gotta explore that and um, find some kind of solution. Anyway, my theory of this not being like this like being a little tiny dungeon and then we go elsewhere. Very wrong, I feel like, because Gotcha. 
Guys, this is now a huge elaborate level with a mini boss and everything, so my theory is flawed, I'm pretty sure. juice. Wow, that takes a while to beat them up if you're using the wrong weapon. Uh, okay, here we are now. Damn, that felt satisfying. That guy crumbled to my move. But what's the trick here? Because, like, this thing is in the way. It almost seems like... yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the trick here is. It's the nasty part, like, because I don't know how to... I don't know how to get past this uh, current right here. Alright, it isn't to just brute force swim your way through, that's for sure. Oh, wait, wait a second. Oh, this is so stupid. Can you just go under it? Yes, that's the trick. Oh no. Okay. I was not thinking I was I was overthinking things again. My bad everybody. <laughs> it was just a, like a little like can you get past it a little um okay. Obstacles there. Understood. Vibe. Oh and now we gotta go. Okay, we can smash these things underwater because we can't reach this otherwise. But that's fine. In my minor defense, it I feel like it wasn't entirely obvious. Let's break one more. Was it entirely obvious that uh, the the there was that like 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 you could swim underneath that thing? Yeah, I'm just no. It was it was a little visually unclear. <laughs> Uh, or a fair, not the best explanation. I should have explored my options a little more. My, my brain just defaulted to like, oh, okay, there's like this current here. I mean, you're probably just an entire wall blocking the entire thing. Oh, well. Health is running a little low here. We've been getting beat up rather fiercely, but... So we could have kept smashing those. But now we can cross over, so I, that's why I, I... I don't know what happens if I'm crazy enough to... If I'm nuts enough to, uh, you know, break all the ones. I don't know what happens. I, I guess we get that treasure chest that's marked on the map, but... but then I don't know how we get across, so I... Yeah, let's, let's, just, let's just carry on for now. Another dive. Uh-oh, a new enemy is... Awful looking sea urchins, huh? Ah! Okay. Fucking naval mines, more like it. Jesus. Okay, okay. Gotcha, I think. No. Just. No, I just want to. There we go. Power tablet. Probably raises your like damage. Use it. Oh boy, here's that. Oh, Giga Frog. Oh, two Giga Frogs. Gotcha. Skill finish. Nasty encounter. Oh, <laughs> thing was just lying there. Oh, we got them all. Okay. Ah, uh, well, what was on the other side then? Because there was there was also two branches in that previous underwater grotto. Oh. Well, if this is oh okay, yeah, I was about to say if this ends up being one of these. Uh... Wow, that was cool. All three of them flying. 
Anyway, I was going to say, if this ends up being one of these things, you know, there's probably a, uh, you know, uh, obelisk there to heal up with. And sure enough. Huh. This is just like that other door we found. This one has a similar hole in it, too. I guess it's opened the same way. Ah, we're actually missing a piece, so we're definitely not ready to do this yet. But that's fine. Because I definitely wasn't ready to call it quits yet. So we've got areas to explore. Nice. Ooh. Oh! What a lovely little detail, by the way. There's like a little water drip there, implying that this stalagmite was, you know, grown from the, you know, water moisture. Which is, you know, how stalagmites form by the little calcium deposits from, uh, from... Is it calcium? Well, whatever the, like... Whatever it is. The, 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 the stone... The stone... Tiny trace elements of stone that, like... That, uh, that come with water, dripping water in limestone caverns. Anyway, this is but I see what this is. This is a shortcut. That's actually all this is. It's just a shortcut for getting back. It's smart. If you miss the first fl slate fragment, this is like a quick way to get back. Because that's that room that we were in a couple of times while I was trying to figure out where to go to. Ah, oh god, you're all back. All right, now we gotta get past the double Giga Frogs. Okay. No sweat. Jeez, Louise. And we go check out the other branch here in uh, Urchin Cave, because there's urchins only here for some reason. Another thing, feather on this level, not just the, like, the level's feeling dynamic despite the somewhat limited um, mobility. Um, we'll also say that... Uh, ah! Oh, I see what the gimmick here is, so... I'm gonna hide in here for a bit. Also, like, good variety in all the areas. Something that I've been also, you know... Um, like... Uh, you know, um, congratulating a Stranger of Paradise for is, this, you know, there's like there's like really unique feeling parts to the levels in here, like like regions of the levels that feel pretty unique. I feel like 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 I I, I can identify like you, you know different parts of the level. Like this, like this sea urchin cave. It's got kind of its own unique energy, along with this <laughs> this funny water blast area here. But you know, the wall going across the waterfall that we went over with the first Giga Frog, the cistern area that the you know is the kind of the main hub of the first half of this level. It's all good stuff. It's a very flavorful level. I guess there's a long way to say that I this might be my favorite level we've done. I don't I don't know, but. We haven't done so many in this game yet, but like this one's good good vibes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But thinking back now, Ancient Burrow wasn't the craziest in the world. It was it was it was it was an alright level now, but now that I think about it the you know the ant ant holes weren't that crazy. Although I feel like, as a kid, I'm sure that shrinking down would have had the same kind of, like, energy of, like, being able to breathe underwater of, Oh, that's so amazing! So fun! <laughs> anyway, we're gonna... ...make a save here, but we're gonna end on a cliffhanger, might as well, so we're gonna walk into... We're gonna walk over here, and next time we're gonna start with a boss fight, basically. Um, well, you know... I don't know, maybe we'll just get the answer to our problems and there won't be any fights. Ta-da! Huzzah! That's the logo of Hyrule. Those Zelda comparisons coming in again. Kinda look like the Hylian shield. Yeah. We should keep moving. 
Oh, you know what? I'm so lazy, I'm gonna make another save now that the puzzle's solved. <laughs> but now let's keep moving and let's find out what's gonna wait for us next time. Oh god, no, hold on. Don't tell me this, this boss fight's gonna be... We're gonna have to do this boss fight underwater. Oh, that sounds awful. Oh no. Never mind, now my good vibes are like flow vanishing away at extreme speed. Oh, what? A pair of throwing knives in that Spardus. Keister. Oh, jeez, it's an anglerfish. Of course. With smokestacks. I don't think those knives came from this thing. I don't think so. Although they are the same color, but... Oh my god. This guy looks awful. Wait, he doesn't get a name? This evil old anglerfish doesn't get a name for him's sake? Okay then. Well, next time, it's us versus the angler. So look forward to that, everybody. Bye-bye!